welcome everyone to Q Sports International Expo, hosted at the Rio All Suites Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas. This is the Predator World 10 Ball Championship presented by CSI and sponsored by Predator. Folks, 128 players started this event and we are down to the final three. The reigning champion just went down to defeat to Wojcik Shevchek and this semifinal will determine who will meet him in the final at eight o'clock tonight. It's Jason Shaw and Christopher Devis. Shaw from Scotland, Devis from Peru. This is George Teache in the booth, joined by Mark White, bringing you the live action. Hey George, once again, very exciting match this. Tevez has come in under the radar for the viewers I'm talking about here. You know, a lot of people don't really know about him, but the players do, mm -hmm. and, they know, and certainly the ones who he's, be who he's beaten <laughs> know who he is by now. Yes, he is a national Peru Peruvian three-cushion champion. Sponsored by Predator, Clutch Shot, How Tips, and Anti-Cloth. 761 Fargo has been taking down these 800 plus, 818 Fargo rated players. Yeah, defeated Darren Appleton. 10-3, wasn't it? In the yes. Round before this. Yes, just before this. It took a while and in the in the final stages he also defeated Carlo Beato and David Al Qaeda. He defeats Al Qaeda ten to five. Yes, sir. Wow. Carlo Beato, he was down five zero and came back and beat him ten to eight. He's got a lot of support here as well, the Peruvian. He's always had a big gang following him around, bringing him water when he needs it, keeping him hydrated. Oh, they are catering to him. There has never been a Latin American champion, as that to my knowledge. I think the one that came the closest was Ismael Pius, and uh, and he was a runner-up. I'm not sure of that, but that's what I was told by one of the Peruvian guys. So I'm going to use it. Someone can uh, Google it and take uh, take me to task on it. <laughs> this is the only WPA-sanctioned world championship. And as I said, 128 players, there's a quarter of a million dollars in prize money. The winner of this will move on to meet uh, Wojciech Chefshek and be guaranteed $40,000. Winning this tournament is 60, and the loser of this will have to settle for a mere $20,000. Yeah, this is gonna be no surprise to Jason Shaw, he's played him before. I've never watched an entire match of this guy. I've watched the odd rack here and there as I've been walking around and very impressed with him, but never sort of studied him, you know, looked at his technique or his speed or anything like that. So we're going to get a good look at him mm -hmm. here, George. He's been here for three years now. Uh, he's come up for this event. Um, he came up with Gerson Martinez and Ariel Castro from Argentina. Gerson, of course, being from Peru. And uh, I never watched him play. I never got a chance to watch him play. I watched Gerson and I watched uh, Ariel and Castro. This looks pretty tight, but he's obviously on it. Oh, he's well on it. Perfect angle there from our cameraman. And I watched part of his match with uh, it, Darren Appleton. And uh, steady, he had Darren kind of like frustrated, it seemed. Yeah, Darren puts his heart and soul into everything, mm -hmm. leaves everything on the table to be seen. This is a good start. From the Peruvian, how old did you say how old he was, George? He's 31 years old. His first match, he defeats, oh, I'm sorry, he lost to I'm sorry, that's Bosa. Got that wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking at Gerson Martinez. Come on, George. I know it's the end of the tournament. Yeah, well. <laughs> I was going to give you the record of his countrymen. Oh, he's nice with him. on this eight ball. 
There's the looped bridge you see, guys, through the gloved hand. Forced that over. Perfect on this nine ball. Draw across the face of the ten for play in the bottom right hand corner. And it's going to be 1 0 to Christopher Tevez. Flawless. Was that a break and run, too, wasn't it? Did he break or did Jason Shaw I break? Jason broke dry, didn't he? I missed it. I was doing the introduction. <laughs> I was reading. And it goes. So a good start to this second semi-final. And we will be bringing you the final just a few minutes after this one ends. Well, we'll know if he grabs that break you. Just had a, had a message from the Polish guy. Yep. It's five in the morning here, uh, there already. Stayed up to watch Shevchek, and he wants to stay up now and watch, this watch the final. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the final. The final, yeah. He's pro probably watching this as well. He's a big Jason Shaw fan also. Oh, who isn't? I mean, he, uh, this tournament, he has made this table lo look like his home table. He's had some pretty big wins on it, hasn't he? Yes, he has. Convincing he's wins. He's played very well. He's controlled the cue ball, impe as I said, impeccably. Yeah, he's sat it's there. Just been Watching, he's seen it all before, George. It won't be anything new. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at his break. He breaks off to the side. He's made a ball on the break. He's going to end up with a shot on this one well, ball. He's made the ball in yes, the side as well. Yeah. Four Raiders going around as well. And he's got a nice shot on the one to come to the two. Only thing that could hamper him is possibly the six ball. Because I think he gets by the seven. Now will he come back too far and get up behind the six? I don't think he'll go forward. He needs to find the gap here between six and the seven this is a race to ten all ball foul so be careful and he came by the six no oh, problem what a nice shot very well I'm impressed already well this is this this should impress you it looks like the five goes down but I don't think he can hold the cue ball there unless he goes back and forth we'll see just what he does with this he might be able to hold, hold it Killed it. This isn't a gimme. This would be a nice shot, but this is the key shot to this rack. This cue ball to go back and forth underneath the six more than likely and play the six to the side pocket. Did you say he lives in the States, George, now? No, he's oh. living, He's from Peru. He he's living in Peru. Okay. They came up, I believe they were both at the Texas Open just prior to this tournament. Ah, okay. Uh, so I think a month ago they were at the Texas Open. Attention, please. And um, I, he must have played in it because he was, I'm pretty sure he was with Gerson Martinez who won the Texas Open. You might have just heard the shot clock beep. There is a 30 second shot clock. One extension of rack. You know the rules by now, guys. One extension. Yeah, that was and he's tough. missed it. Now then, and he's has he left it on? Can Jason Shaw just twist that cue ball around the seven? Uh, let's see if he decides to twist it or jump it. More than likely, he'll twist it. He's called it in the corner. Yeah, he would have liked to end it up a little flatter on that. Um, on that five ball, he was a little bit too much angle. Yep. Now he needs a big bounce. He didn't even have to twist it. Gotten this in the side, are you? Yeah, definitely. Doesn't go anywhere else. He's looking to see if he... Is he looking at drawing onto the... Well, he's got to make sure if he plays the six, it doesn't go off the seven. The cue ball doesn't go off the seven and scratch on the side. Yeah, he's looking at the gap mm -hmm. between them. What That's a great right. shot that was. Well, a 
and this will teach Tevez that he can't afford to miss <laughs> because Jason Short will come along and clean up. Mm -hmm. But then Tevez taught Shaw not oh, to roll. Oh, having Look said that, this. he's come across that one and missed a sitter for him. So see, everybody's susceptible to one of those blind shot uh, oh, yes. back cuts. Yeah, that's that's a shock to Big me. Big miss to Jason. Let's see how unsettling it is to him. That's a huge shock. Stands are packed, folks. Standing room only. And we've got a big screen as well either side of the arena, so those that can't get in don't have to miss a ball. So a little bit of a jumpy start for Jason. Big miss for him on that four. And I must admit, I didn't expect him to miss no. that. No, he hasn't. That seven He's been, ball. He hasn't missed a ball all, all day. He was in his arena against. Uh, He's played twice in here yeah, today. Sanjin. Hasn't he? he played excellent against Sanjin, and then he played great against Torsten. In it goes. It's early in the match, but Jason Shaw's down 2 0. The young man from Peru. Well, this is pretty well. That's a bit Even. of a shock, that. I'll yeah. tell you what, I bumped into, I met for the first time, actually, John Schmidt, and mm -hmm. had a nice little chat with him. And he was telling me, he was talking with another guy as well, mm -hmm. and explaining that he's going to attempt a 7-1-4. He's going to try and beat it, and his mm -hmm. ambition is to be the first man ever to make a 1,000. And they're making steps now for him to go and attempt it. Now, let's put this into perspective now. It's one thing running 626, mm -hmm. and then it's another thing to go on to 1,000. Not that he's got to get to 1,000 to beat it, of course. All right. But he was mentioning that Jason used a magic rack right. with it. So he wants to try it with a magic rack because he didn't use one before. He used the triangle. What do you reckon his chances are? Uh, a thousand balls. I would, I would set my sights on eight hundred before I set them on a thousand. But you know, I'm not. A, uh oh, oh dear, oh dear. Well, uh oh, puff of the cheeks. You know, two breaks like that by Jason. If he, if he can complete this clearance and run out here, it will be a boost to this young man's confidence. Although I think it doesn't need to be boosted. Um, because he seems to be very comfortable at the table already, but it'll give him a higher degree of comfortability. See that word I made up? Did you like that one? Comfortability. Comfortability. That's easy for you to say than me, <laughs> George. But, because um, he does seem comfortable at the table. He's 31 years old. Jason's 33, I believe. That was the number of my first house. 33? Don't know why I said that. It's where I grew up. Please. Yeah, and now I like what he's doing here. Taking his time. Yeah, very wisely using all that time, although he has taken extension by the looks of it as well. So he's used well over the minute also. So I bet he's got it planned to the ball. And it might have uh, already gone wrong. Yes. I wonder if he'll just go ahead and go for the bank here. What was he playing there? Was he playing it for the side, wasn't he? I guess so, because he just indicated yeah. that's where he was going. So he's called the bank. This is a tough bank. Now then, Jason Shaw will fly out of his seat here. chance second chance of the rack that could have really put you know some fear into jason although i don't think he fears anything but uh you know to most players if he banks that in and, and runs out that could have made a little put a little doubt in his mind but he just said i'm human and jason of course 
from what I've seen him play on this table, is maybe he's not. Yeah, I don't think he's normal. I don't yeah. think he's human. He's superhuman, maybe. Yeah. You know, when you watch guys play like he's been playing, you call it almost alien-esque. Yeah. Like yeah. the great Strickland, he was Erlian-esque. <laughs> Erlian-esque, that's right. Nice little stunned follow there. Beautiful control on that mm. shot. Some applause in the background. Ladies' tournament still going on. Saw Jennifer Beretta get pushed to the one loss side earlier on in oh, the shootout. Shoot out. Yeah. This looks so nonchalant around the table. He does. It's like he's out for a stroll. Both these guys do. Are you sure? Of course. And this 10 ball, to pull one back, as you like to say. We can. back live with Christopher Tevez breaking the two to one in a race to 10 alternate break format. So this break, five ball goes right directly to the side pocket. The cue ball moves to the middle. Yeah, he's got a shot. Well, he can bank big pocket there, George. Big Pass the four ball. If he wants to bank this one ball, you don't fancy banking that to the to the side pocket past the four. No. What is he going to do? Safety behind the ten. Uh, safety behind the ten, or he might bring the cue ball down. Well, that's a scratch. If he brings it down behind the three, he might bring it behind the seven. I have to call a stupid chop it and shot every now and then, George. There you go. Oh, oh it's going to leak out, but the two balls there. I think he can see the ball. He was trying to get behind a 3 7. There's our referee, John Lehman, just checking to see if the ball is frozen or not. 
tournament director, referee, head referee. Extension. Extension, please. I believe Michaela Tapp will be doing her final, George. Oh, good. It's good to have, have them both here. Tony Robles will also be doing his share of the final with us. We're going to split things up for you folks. We're going to mix it up. Mm -hmm. Well, he doesn't miss much, does he? as you rightly say with a consummate ease those that look as if they're not trying and it comes easy are the ones who are trying the mm -hmm. hardest now he could have drawn that back just a little bit more but he's got a nice angle to go to the seven he doesn't seem scared to leave himself He's a shot maker. Yeah. Uh -oh. He's, oh, I thought he'd missed that for a second. That was close. Any harder, he might not have dropped. Going to the middle of the table. Get off the rail so he can be off the rail. Is he off enough? I wonder if Wojtek is practicing or whether he's watching a little bit of this. If I had to guess, I'd say he's hitting balls. I'd like to have gotten that off the rail a little more, but the 10 ball's over the pocket, so it doesn't take much for position. And this for three to one. Goes. I'd like to talk a little bit about the US Pro Billiard Series, George, which we had earlier on. This is the CSI Expo here, and it's going to be home for the foreseeable future here at the Rio. And it really is growing every year and bringing more and more tables in. They added the three cushion UMB World Cup, and that's going on at the moment as well. They have their finals tomorrow. We have, well, tens of booth operators from tips to tables and everything in between and we have this wonderful BCA USA Pool League Championships and World Cup going on also it really is a feast on the felt for the connoisseur for the the pool fanatic for the poolaholic it's a great event just growing Shot just broke the balls. It looks dry again. Yeah, that one was on its way in and got kicked out mm -hmm. of the way. Shot's got to find his break. Yeah. He broke dry a couple of times in his other matches, too, if I recall. He didn't break all that well, but he ran balls extremely well. He's been waiting around for quite a long mm -hmm. while, you know for this, not making excuses. He was out on another table hitting balls. Keep his arm going. Boy, I'm sitting here wondering just how many viewers do we have from Latin America? Mexico, Peru, Argentina, Honduras, all those areas. Saludos a todos los Latinoamericanos. Bienvenidos. I'll have, I'll have the same, George, please. Just get it delivered <laughs> by Uber or somebody. I just, Uber Reeks. I just said hello and welcome to all our Latin America friends. Hi, guys. You must be very proud of this young man at the table. Oh, doing your country proud. Something doing your to region be, proud. Be proud of. This young man is from Peru. Lima, Peru. Peru. 
have a friend that goes down there quite a bit, actually. He's in mining. What do they mine there, George? Uh, copper, I believe. Oh, He's what a missed shot the ball. He's missed a pretty routine shot. How quick was Jason Shaw to the table then? Uh, it makes you think if, if, if it's like mind games, watch me jump out of my chair when you miss. Yeah, ask for that cue ball to be clean. S clock does stop in this particular format. There's John with his little gadget on the table. Marks exactly where the ball was. I bet he even I bet he sleeps with that in his pajama pocket, George. <laughs> well, here comes Shaw. Shaw's trip to this position to the semifinal was a win over Marco Tucher. <coughs> Tommy Tokov, Torsten Holman. He defeated Torsten Holman eight to zero. But Holman had a hard time at the table that day. Tommy Tokov eight three. Marco Tucher eight five. In the final thirty two, he took down Jonas Suto and Francisco Sanchez ten three and ten five. Oh, wow. he defeated the Spanish Armada. Yes, he did. Part of it. And the other one demolished the other third of yeah. it. So this ten ball then to come back within just one rack. The South American. And in it goes. So George. Now I had Kelly I had Kelly Fisher in here earlier with me. Mm -hmm. And she was talking about the difference between the men's game. And the women's game and okay. explaining why she thought you know women didn't perform maybe up to the standard i would have liked to listen to that. some of the men well you can go back and watch it on I youtube think i'll have to it was very very interesting and you know she mentioned some great things about men of very tunnel vision they can concentrate on only one thing at a time where a woman can you know she can think of multitask yeah multitask and think of different things and you know she can look at somebody in the audience and, you know, oh, oh that's a nice pair of slacks or whatever. Mm -hmm. I'm just making mm -hmm. an example. Sure, I'm, sure, not, sure. I'm not quoting her verbatim. But, you know, just men are so blinkered where women can let their, mi their minds just wander. They're just wired differently was her expression. Here we go. Tevez breaking 3-2 up. Three ball again to that corner pocket. That second ball behind the, the break ball, the one ball, going to that side pocket, excuse me. Yeah, Jason's Directly looking, in. Jason's watching that break and he's thinking, well, I hit him exactly the same as that and I didn't make a ball. <laughs> Twice. Shaking his head. And yeah. he's made one each time. Yep. So the break is big and 10 ball. How much of a difference will it make? He, They've both had a missed ball now. Jason missed a four ball and Tevis missed a... Uh, Five ball. Big shot on this one right here. He missed it. He he thinks it's he thinks it's skidded. Well, I could tell by the line of the ball that he missed it. I saw one. I saw one skid. You know. Yeah. In a match yesterday, and it just went sideways. The ball. You don't see them that often. Well. I saw him hit that. I didn't think it skidded. I thought he just flat missed it. So as soon as he hit it, that's why I said he missed it. Because we're looking at him. Even, even the angle was right down the line. And it came was coming right at the rail. So a chance then to level things up. And it will be Jason's break. In the next rack, can he sort that break out? He needs to, George, if he's going to make any real impact mm -hmm. on this second semi final. Well, the winner of this match will meet Wojciech Shevchek, who defeated the reigning defending champion Eklan Kachi in the first semi final match. It went right down to the wire, and what an exciting match it was! They exchanged uh, games all the way through. Yeah, he can still call himself the world champion. It won't be over until somebody else wins it when they lift that trophy aloft. Oh, that's a nice shot he's played there. Mm -hmm. 
He's certainly not going to retain it, though. Someone just uh, typed in my, my three friends from uh, South America. Two from Argentina, one from Peru. Gerson Martinez, Ariel Castro, and Jesus Atencio. Saludos, senores. Jesus Atencio, the man of the moment. Well, Jason asking for the cue ball to be cleaned again. I wonder if it's a chalk issue because you know, I don't know what chalk Martinez, uh, sorry, you've got me at it now, George, uh, <laughs> Tevez. I don't know what chalk Tevez yeah. is using, but he got a skid also, didn't he, Tevez? So I'm just wondering, maybe it's a chalk thing. Mm. I haven't seen, in fact, if that's skidded, that's the first time I've seen a ball skid. I've only seen one other, yeah, and that I was last night on an outside table in one yeah. of the late matches. And this will tie it up, these two balls. Yeah, skid or not. Yeah. It's going to cost him the rack. Oh, if JC, if this gets a bounce off of this, well, he's left a little bit of distance between these. Yeah, well, he's got a long straight in shot, and dead straight, he hits these so good. Um, and we'll go to a break after that and go to a commercial break. Oh. back live at the Rio All Suites Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas, Nevada for this Predator World 10 ball championship. Jason shot to break the balls tied with Christopher Devis from Peru. Jason Shaw from Scotland. There goes the two ball for him. He got it breaking. He's been watching his opponent. Uh, three breaks. He, uh, he has put that uh, ball down in that pocket. And Shaw's done the same thing. He's made the two ball on the break. He'll bring the cue ball tracking towards the six and the seven for position on the three. Getting on the four, everything's wide open for him. Wants to float the ball down for the four, coming right down. He's going to have to play this uh, five ball to the right where he's standing, or bring it back all the way for the side. No, he's gone right to the corner. Wow, this looks good for Jason. 
If he chooses to stop it right where the six is for the seven, he's straight in down for the corner. He's been playing a lot of straight pools, so that wouldn't surprise me. He could just bring it down and play the seven in the same pocket as the six. But pocketing this five ball and stopping the cue ball. Is he straight enough to stop it right there? He might run it back. Well, he's looking at it, George. Yeah, he's looking at it. It's the, it's the simplest thing to do is just to doe he has yeah, a dead stop. stop. Oh, no, no, he's draw. Well, he's I think he tried to draw past it. Put well, himself that's in a little. Go ahead. Yes, I was just saying, why did he do that? I thought he would stop it. And <laughs> tried to draw past it, and I think he made the six ball into the wrong part of the pocket. That could be. That could be the cue ball that the away. Seven ball. That's yeah. a good point. I just know that the cue ball moved, so it, he, I don't think he wanted it. Well, he was trying to draw it back. But if you uh, behind the eight. Well, he needs coverage here. He needs coverage. He's not going to get it. Leak. Now then. He's left a tough shot. But these are the kind of shots champions make. Yes, Jason, these conditions. Jason just not looking as sharp as he was earlier on. It's a long haul to win this tournament. The final day is brutal. Stroked it in nicely and you can say this is another one that Jason's thrown away. It was the seven ball that cost him earlier on, if you remember rightly, when he played it into this bottom right hand corner. Lovely stroke he's got. Looks so natural. So is his position. A lot of guys would have come up for the nine ball in the corners, but he just went to the side so he can just follow it for the ten. Yeah, and he's not scared to run the ball around either. Very nice indeed. I'm not saying alarm bells are ringing by any means, but, you know, Jason just missing shots you don't normally see him miss, George. Well... There's that combined with the fact that Christopher is uh, letting Jason know, you're in a match, dude. Yeah, he's putting the yeah, pressure on, that, you know, that's making Jason sure know is. that if he misses, then the guy's going to come in and clear up. This is exciting. I think from here on out, it gets exciting. What a final this will be. Either one of these two against Wojciech. Yeah, I mean, Wojtek is in such good form. He was, he played great, didn't he, in the last tournament. Just failed to <laughs> get to the final. Well, in his last match against Kachi, um, they went back and forth, back and forth. I don't think Wojtek ever led till the very end. He came from behind. It's a big win, isn't yeah. it? That big win over Kachi. And on his match against uh, Edgy Geronimo, he was down. He was down quite a few games, and he came back and won that too. Dare I say it, George? If Wojtek wins this, it could put him in the Moscone Cup team for Team Europe. Got to think about it. Mm -hmm. Got to think about him, especially if he follows this up with a few other tournaments. He's getting some high finishes, building yeah. points, building a reputation as well. Do you know who he reminds me of in a way? Yeah, you told me when, we, when he was playing. I just think he reminds me of filler. filler. That's right. I think he reminds me of filler early. in a way, you know, a right-handed filler. Well, Christopher Tevez is from Lima, Peru. Look at the safety. He's going to come oh, If he does, he won't pocket the nine. Oh, this is a great shot. If he gets past it, well, even if he doesn't. Uh, uh, he's got it. He's got an edge. Simple yeah. jump shot if he chooses. Uh, he might be able to hit yeah, the edge, like you said. Yeah. He can clip the edge. Maybe he can even come back down. Oh, he's going to go past the seven. He didn't want to catch that three ball. He no. wanted to go by it and come behind it. Just a little bit sloppy at the Does moment. Does he call the nine? He should call the nine ball here unless he's going to play safe behind the seven. Yeah. 
he just at the very end there nestled him up against the seven ball. Jason is under pressure at the moment. Off the eight. Oh, he's gonna get some help on the eight. No. Just where are you Inca, going? Where are you going? <laughs> Sit down. Did you see Jason Sit down, staring I called down. it. <laughs> <laughs> the last even, thing you want is Jason Shaw staring you down. Even Devis is laughing. <laughs> oh, he's oh, missed that dear, entire oh, ball. Dear. Well, no. he'll laugh a lot harder now. Uh, but uh, that was a kind of a nice exchange. Jason just gave him that eagle eye and said, uh, uh, sit back down. <laughs> Wait your turn. Uh -huh. and, <laughs> and Christopher started laughing also. That was nice. Relax the nerves a little. Yeah, there's plenty of tension out there. Believe me, you can feel it here. Stopped in his tracks for a second there. It may be closer to the rail than he wanted. There you see, digging down again. No problem. It's a great 4 9 combo, obviously. You know, with this combo, he can break the five out. And he just, oh, but did he get stuck behind the 10? No, he's perfect. Wow, what a shot that is. And you can see he's using master chalk. And Jason is using town. Well, you're a well-traveled man. What is, what is Peru famous for? Um, There's a famous site in Peru. Oh high yes, Machu Picchu. Very good, high in the mountains. It's one of the places I actually wanted to go. Really, one of bad. the seven wonders of the world. Yeah. And uh, since I've had that heart surgery, I'm not sure I want to go up there because there's a lot of steep climbing. <laughs> was one of the, my, you know, bucket list, I call it. Might still be. I have a friend that goes down there quite a bit. And we'll travel down there with them in a heartbeat. You need to get one of them scooters, George, that everyone's riding around the Rio <laughs> in. Get some, get a four-wheel drive one with some rough tires on it, you know, some knobbly tires. Yeah, they don't climb stairs. Well. There's some big stairs to climb down there. Meanwhile, this is flying man, one. This my young man knows how to climb a ladder. And uh, here comes this 10 ball. We'll go to a break right after it for some commercials and be right back.
Jason Shaw to break, trailing three to five. He hasn't trailed very often in this Predator World 10 ball. Yeah. And it looks like it's dry again, but no offensive shot on the one. Holding his hands up in disbelief once again. Now, try and answer this for me. Why is Christopher Tevez making balls and Jason Shaw isn't? Could be a couple of reasons. Exactly how he's hitting the, the one ball and the speed of the break. If they're off just one or two miles per hour, it can make a difference. And if you'll notice on Christopher's uh, break, he's going to about the first diamond above the side pocket, going to the side and coming out. Now, I always thought that was, you were breaking off center and it wasn't really a great break, but he's holding the ball up nice and that ball is coming, that one, the ball on the left side behind the one is going straight to the left-hand side pocket. I mean, dead center is going right in. And Jason had one do that and he thought he had it, and he hit that break thinking the same thing and didn't get the same result. That's my opinion as to why the break is doing what it is. Well, he's left him a little piece of this one ball, saying, well, go on then, do something with that. I wonder what he's got in mind. Trying to get that uh, five ball behind the, the cue ball behind that five ball, two rails. Yeah, one, two, just like that. That's what I thought Tevis was going to nice do. Nice little flick off the three as well there. I think the jump cue is going to come out here straight away. Round of applause there for a great safety. Could might probably call the nine here. The air rush from Predator. Oh, it went straight in, but he didn't call it. He <laughs> didn't call it. <laughs> so Jason gets the option. I wouldn't give him the shot. He's going to carry him the the nine ball off the off the deuce. The He's going to carry him the cue ball into the nine. I. That's a good shot. Yeah, do you know there. Jason didn't come and look at that. I can't yep. believe he didn't come and have a look. To be honest. You always had somebody else did that yesterday and I remarked on it. Well, he, he tried, tried it, he tried, he it, tried sure. it. Now he's left the combo it for Jason, there. has he? He has, he's left the two nine combo. Jason's heart must have been in his mouth then thinking, oh my God, what have I done? Score still only 5-3. It seems that Tevez has been controlling this match. But well, he's still only two racks ahead. Yeah. Well, he is breaking better, and Jason has only made a ball in the break once. So I would be concerned if I was Jason. Well, I would as well, especially missing shots like that. And he's going to definitely going to carry on this nine ball in. Sure. It's a little tough, but yes, he should. He should make this. I think he's near enough the pocket, oh George, yeah. to make it. Well, he can. Uh, at first, I thought it would double kiss before it took the draw, but it looks like he's got he's got the he's got the ball to just come over enough. Yeah. Yeah. Then where's the two ball going to end up? Well, as it often does when you're playing well. You get a little bit of a run. Now, will he come around the three rails to get on the three in the same pocket? It's laying well for the shot. Just a hint of inside English. Yeah, just to miss that. Five and six. Well, it's made him miss the two ball, but mm -hmm. he's been lucky. I no call that shot. fortunate. <laughs> yeah. Lucky is another word for it. I'll go with that. He's going to kick it in this corner. Just called it. Oh! This close. He has, a bank. he has a bank on this, a natural position on the three. 
Wow. This is the third match they've played today. Oh, he, did he hit? Yes, he did. Nice shot. Yeah, and the crowd warming to this South American. Mm -hmm. He's a pleasure to watch play. He's moving around the table with a good rhythm, good pace. Of course, He's making yeah. great shots. I totally agree with you there, George. He is easy on the eye. Mm -hmm. Plays a nice, steady, flowing game. And you can tell he's a billiard player just by the way he addresses the ball. National champion in Peru. A little bit more. That's enough. Such a huge match, this. And look at the easy hit that with. A lot of guys would travel all the way around the table to assure themselves of cutting it in. He soft stroked it. He could draw this ball two rails and come out for the seven about where the cue ball is, or he can use it with inside English and see which way he chooses. I was just looking at his shaft, George, and wondering whether he's playing with a billiard shaft with a slightly smaller... No, it's a Revo shaft. It's, it's a Revo shaft, mm -hmm. is it? Mm-hmm. He's sponsored by Predator. It's a Revo shaft. Yeah, but they make carom cues now as well? Yes. Uh, I think they use the Revo shaft for the carom. Yeah, but it's shorter. I don't and know. And the taper is different is on, the, okay. on the billiard... Yeah, on the carom cues. That's the taper is slightly different. I was just curious, that's all. Yeah. Well, 6-3 now. Don't it worry, Jason, though. He'll be sitting there thinking, I've had my chances. I need to take them. You know, I'm wondering, as you hear the applause for one player and then the other player, I wonder if this young South American gentleman has won the crowd over Jason. Well, it sounds that way. A little bit, but I'm sure they'll go back to Jason when he pulls off a great jump shot oh, or a decent oh, long yes. draw shot. Yeah. They're a bit, you know, there's there's no loyalty in these fans. <laughs> they just want to see good pool as we I, do. Exactly. I, that's where I was going to go next. No favoritism, favoritism whatsoever. There you see the big Predator logo in the background. And I'll tell you what, George, I might even treat myself to a little bit of Rum from Puerto Rico later on. Oh, one of our sponsors, Rums of Puerto Rico. You just wanted that Latin sound to I come just, out, right? I just wanted to hear you say uh -huh. it. And Medalla, premium light beer. I'd rather have one of them, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Well, that's the first time that ball didn't head to that corner, part, to that side pocket. Well, look at this ball, though, ball going down the rail. And a shot on the one, or he's over, over the two. Didn't get the ball he thought he'd get. He got two a balls. weird one down the rail. This two ball's a little tricky to get position on. I'm not sure he can hold it, hold up and play for the lower corner pocket by going two rails. Yes, he can. I think he will, too. I just like the way he's straight, and he does play like a billiard player, you said. And yes. And billiards we have here at the Rio, I'm telling you this, uh, during the uh, CSI International Expo, we have a world championship being played in the Miranda Room, where they have seven, uh, five, and five by ten Predator new billiard tables. Did you hear what you did just then? No. You just put an extra eye on the end of CSI. Did I see SI? CSI International. Oh. <laughs> no, it's cute. I like it. Well, it's because it's, you know, it's got that Latin flow. I, 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 I. <laughs> I believe you. He's, I 
I'm just watching him. Really does push through the ball nicely. Those guys are watching that want to improve your game. Just watch this stroke. Really grabs hold of that cue ball and pushes it. Look, just a nice push. So easy. There's no hitting there. Well, that's someone that's used to playing on an extremely fast cloth, which a billiard table has. Yeah, that's a great point, actually. Used to playing on those heated slates. Mm -hmm. That one got away just a little bit, but he's all right. I like the way he shot that. I was thinking yeah. that, that usually a lot of players will play that with that little bit of draw, and they could have easily gone to the corner pocket. And he made sure they had nowhere to go close. Mm -hmm. Well, this is a really impressive performance. And mm -hmm. I tell you, there's been a buzz around the Rio about this guy over the last week or so. And we're seeing exactly why. Why the bees were buzzing. We'll go to a break after this 10 ball. this second semi-final and we're getting closer to finding out who will play Poland's Wojtek Szewczyk very soon indeed Jason Shaw put a little bit extra into that one has he made a ball it's well, he's walking away from the table as if to say yep same result yep. back will come Christopher yep. Tevez George the bad news for Jason is he didn't make a ball the good news for Jason is he didn't leave a shot but this young man on the thin hit off this one ball can put the cue ball just about anywhere he chooses. Yeah, and being a three cushion player, mm. he'll know exactly how to carry him onto that five ball from the back. What do you it's, reckon to well, that? Well, the nine ball's in the way for the three cushion to hit three cushions and slide in behind the five. Um, I'm trying to see if he can come between the three and the 10. That's a tight, tight space, but uh, maybe playing something a lot simpler. Yeah, exactly. Right back on top See, of the six. Just like yeah. that. He hasn't come far yeah. enough, though. It's a little bit short. Now then, chance for Jason. He needs to get a decent safety in here. He might cut this all the way down the, down the, to the corner pocket. To the left-hand corner pocket on your screen. Or play safe. Yeah, he's playing safe, you can see from where he's aiming. 
He's going to leave no. an opening. Yeah. His safety is normally so good, but today just letting you know, this match, this particular mm -hmm. match, mm -hmm. is just letting him down slightly. He's going to kick and stick this ball. Or is he playing safe yeah. off of it? Oh. Well, actually, you know, Jason's shot was not a bad, bad, bad shot at all. He didn't leave much, and he's uh, turned it around on Jason now. He says, I'll leave you what you left me. But Jason can run the ball down, the cue ball down if he wants. He can also kick it. And he's running it down if he hits that tempo. Oh, look at this. He's going to oh, tuck him in behind this. the Look three. at this for a shot. What a Huge shot. round of applause. Absolutely brilliant. That's what I thought uh, uh, Christopher would go for uh, earlier. But it was just so hard to get there. It would have taken a great shot. Well, at this stage of the match, that's a really, really smart, clever, great shot. Is he's, this is like, an, oh, it's two rails. Oh, he clipped, that, he clipped the two ball. He was wow. trying to get around it. I must say, I didn't expect that. Well, he had to really English that ball a lot because it was the natural angle wasn't there. Jason Short, ball in hand. Just when he needs, he is down by four games. And I want to give a shout out to our shot clock operators. There's two of them who have done it in mm -hmm. shifts, and they have to concentrate just as hard as the players do when the time, when the clock's running down. Mm -hmm. So well done, guys. There's a lovely lady and a guy been doing it. Thank you to you. Thanks to all the scorers, the referees, of course, the cameramen. Big effort by a lot of people, George, to put oh, a, a, to an event like this, the logistics and everything that goes into it is just mind-blowing. It, it is amazing. I mean, oh, you took the picture. This. Oh, look at this. Look Jason's at this. in trouble here because he might be able to make this ball, but uh, position, even position to play a safety. I'd be surprised if he went for it, to be honest. He might just play it up and down and try and get the cue ball over behind the six, seven. And Six. You're correct. Yeah. Oh, he's just leaked it out again. Now, does it pass? He's just looked. And if it does, he's got a chance of playing the combo 3 5 after this. Not going for it. He's going to put oh, him what back where Jason nice put it. <laughs> Unfortunately, it didn't tuck up against the five, but. That's what he was going for. Yeah. And Jason's going for his jump yes. cue. This is a makeable jump. But there's no position. Yeah, but maybe he can play. If he can stop the cue ball, more or less. Well, it's not that straight, is no, it? No, it's got angle to go to the left. I mean, it could be a makeable combo, the 3-5. Let's see how he makes this. Oh, what a great shot. Oh, oh it hangs up. Wow. Well. 3-5 combo is a toughie. You know, Tony Robles often refers to that match, the one you don't want, the one you're trying to avoid in a tournament. Mm. When you come again, come up against things that are just, everything go, starts to go wrong against you. And I, 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 I've talked to, to Tony about stuff like that. I call it winning ugly. Yes, sir. No, I'm talking about is there one particular match where nothing goes right for oh, you? Okay. Not winning ugly, you know, just nothing seems to go right. I mean, he's hit that jump absolutely perfectly, and it's just wobbled and stayed out. I just wonder if he'll play that another safety, if he'll play the combo, or if he'll play the safety like he tried to play earlier with the two rails up against the five. Yeah, he played he the, combo the combo this time. Yeah. He hasn't got it. And once again, he's had the run of the ball. And that's what I mean by mm -hmm. that match. Mm -hmm. that, that you're right. Good catch. Hmm. You know, I just realized something. I haven't, I've written my rap, but I didn't perform it. I never got time today. For Tony rap. Robles and Amiesco oh, for Fortunsky's birthday. 
Oh, boy. So are we going to have a wrap? Uh, no, wait for the break. No, absolutely not. <laughs> I'll get fired if I do that. Oh, did I'm going to go and record it when oh, okay. I get back to my room later on. Awesome. Put it on social media, are you? Absolutely. Okay. You're going to have the chains on? Yeah. Okay. Cat, chains, my bling, my bridge, yeah. everything. Let's see who does with this kick shot. Oh, he's okay now, Jason. Well, Chance. Well, will he break his four-game streak? Tevis has won the last four games in a row. Well, if he's going to do it, he needs to do it quickly because Tevez just three from a place in the final against Wojtek Shevchik. I think Jason now just needs to loosen up and start letting the cue go. Just play his natural well, attacking game. The loser here gets $20,000. The winner goes into the final. And the worst he can do is $40,000. The best he can do is $60,000 if he wins. And what's he done there? And it's that seven ball once again. This is the third time that he's slipped up on the seven. He will he back double this? He's looking at cutting it down the rail. George has called it. I think I'm going to give out the, the winning sixty thousand dollars for the winner. I'm going to say it in Spanish. El premio para el campeón son sesenta mil dólares. Oh, great shot! Yeah, played that to perfection. El que pierde aquí se gana veinte mil dólares. I Stop no showing one, off with your Spanish. Well, course. I just hope no one minds it. I mean, there's a lot of South American fans in here. I'll tell you oh, that right no. now. A lot of them. And that's great. Welcome. How do you say welcome? Bienvenidos. Who? Bienvenidos. Bienvenidos? Bienvenidos. Bienvenidos. Venidos. Mm -hmm. There you go. To all the, you Peruvian fans, you South American fans out there, that was especially for you. Well, that was one that Jason really needed to win, George. Mm -hmm. He didn't want to go 8-2 down. It would have been a real, real... A real task to get, uh, especially the way Tevis has been breaking. Yeah, tough mountain to climb, a tough Machu Picchu to climb. He's still looking relaxed there, seeing there, Jason. Referee John Lehman. Back in the balls. Want to mention Jam Up Apparel. Oh. They were one of our sponsors and do some lovely shirts, George, and I finally got one, as you know. I'm going to wear it tomorrow. There goes that seven ball right to that side pocket, right in the middle. And the five ball, four railer. And a shot and on a the shot on the one with natural position for the two. Yeah, he really has been breaking much better than his Scottish counterpart. And I know one of Jason's biggest fans is here tonight, not just Ara, his wife, but also Michaela Tab's husband. Oh yeah. Who is here? Mm -hmm. Mr. McKenzie, he'll be in the audience somewhere watching this. Wow. Now then. Jason forgot his chalk. You might need that, Jason. He's got some work to do. That three ball is not hanging over the side, that's for sure. Had a message Short from rail a shape, nice shot. Sorry, George. I had a message from a friend in Thailand. It's great timing for them as well. They're getting it on in the pool halls mm -hmm. in Thailand. 
Hi, guys. We'll see you soon. What time is it there? Do you know? 15 hours? Something like that, yeah. Jason to get two games in a row back. He's not finished yet. Oh, no, he's not. He's nowhere near finished yet. You know, with this deficit, is it, this is when he starts playing. That 7-4 in your screens is just a one missing out the middle of it, which will be the magic number that Shaw ran straight <laughs> pool table. That's true. And he's going to win this one. And he's going to go 7-5. And we will go for a break after this 10 ball for a commercial break there. And we we'll right back. We're at the Rio All Suites Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas, Nevada for this Predator World 10 Ball Championship. Jason Shaw to break the balls, trailing five to seven to Christopher Tevez from Peru. Shaw is from Scotland, now living in the US. He's got a lovely pool room down in Connecticut, West down Haven, there, weren't you? called US One, yep. Huge as well it is. Well, yeah. we, go on. We've seen plenty of action from both these players. One is breaking very well. The other one is has his arms up Yay! because he made a ball. He's made Finally. a ball on the break, and he changed it. He went to the side there. Mm -hmm. Why didn't he do that a little while ago? Because he's been watching his opponent break successfully from the middle. And he, he imitated that break and actually had success one time. Well, 
look, this could be different. If he can run this out now, 7-6 we're looking at. And it only takes, you know, even if Tevez makes a ball on the next break, it only takes him to not have a shot on the lowest ball on. Mm -hmm. And we could be looking at 7-7. Seven, seven. Well, this one ball, this two ball is tough. Very tough. He's got to get position like you just said. Yeah. What about coming down this way and leaving it into the top? There. See? Right there. there. Right there. Well, that's because that's the only angle he has to get there. He can't go forward and get no, above it. Exactly. Yeah. So he's got to come in. And actually, if he comes in with a three cushion shot, low right English, going three cushions and comes off and bumps the right there. Yeah, if he yeah. gets right there, Absolutely. he'll end up with a good shot. Yeah. But he's got to end up straight. Otherwise, uh, it's going to be tough to just play it off the corner. Here we go. Let's see that camera work. Here we go. Bump that three ball, as you said. Absolutely perfect shots. Great call. Great shot. Great execution. He's not out of the water here. The water? Yeah, he's not on safe land yet. Yes, he is. Oh, but what do you do about the three ball? Just hit the point. That's what he. That's where he had to go. It was either that or scratch. <laughs> What's he looking at? Well, on the pocket there. I'm right down the line of this, and he cannot see any. Any of it. part of it? No. Then none he's of gonna, it. Well, he can. He can kick it softly. He's going. Oh, he's going to go this way. Wow, what confidence! I like kicking it from right there. And possibly behind the six seven. Yes, I just brushed it. This. What a shot that is. As the tide turned. Well, he's given him a little piece of the three. And that's all he needs to work with, because if he can see the three, he can bank it into the seven softly and hold it behind the six. He can play it off the nine if he can see enough of I it. I wasn't sure he could hit it. Oh, he can't hit it. No, he can't it hit here. it, George. Yeah, he can't hit it straight off. I wondered what table you were well, looking at. Well, I thought he could see it at first. <laughs> like just the real thin part of it. He's called for his extension, so he's got 30 more seconds. Yeah, they've both used them now. And now if he can hit the bottom side of the three, he can get on top of the six, seven. A little harder, and he gets there. Nope. Well, Hit too he's much left ball. a shot for short. Well, Shaw will try to take this one back, too. This is enthralling. These players have been battling the last five days, George. Yeah, he's got some work to do on this four, on this, uh, four to the six. Goes past the seven, does it? Uh, doesn't look like it does uh, on the screen, nor on the table. He might try to play it in. Well, no, it, it must, must go. It must go. He's, He's looking played at for it. it. One of the advantages of being a player is you can see your angles a lot better than we can on the monitor. Even if I was, even if I was seeing it, George, I still wouldn't make it. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're. You're. I think you're. Um, I think you're. Teasing me. I'm hustling you. Trying to get me into a bad game. I'm hustling you. It's okay, I'll play. <laughs> <laughs> I know you've seen me play. No, I haven't. So this eight ball. So you hit a couple on of balls. the nine. Seen you play a couple of balls when you were in Mexico. Don't go you, by that. I'd hardly played then. Yeah, you were live streaming a lot though. For comedic purposes only. Nicely played shot nice there position. from Jason Short. Very nice position. He's closing the gap. Do you know what an amazing game this is? Looked as if it was going completely mm -hmm. one way. All of a sudden, we're almost level again. Just one rack behind now. Jason Shaw, and it goes. And I believe you were right in your, uh, when I said that it might be the young South American that's winning the crowd over. They just want to see great pool because Absolutely. they're clapping for it. They're very appreciative. Very appreciative. Yep. They just want to, you know, if, if one player yeah. is getting too far ahead, they don't don't want it to end. They want to see no. more pool. Well, not so much more pool there because they're watching some good pool. I We're mean more. Great shots. Yeah, I understand. More racks. They don't want it to be over too quick. There's a youngster there. Look. Mm-hmm. 
talking about the game. That's what I love seeing. People discussing the shots. I'd have played it that way. How did he get there? What English did he use? Great to see. Let's watch this break. See, he's not. He's just a little bit off to the left for the break. He's hitting the one ball square. Watch how it comes in about the first diamond above the side pocket on the right. And it goes again. And there goes Is the it? five. Yeah, and there goes the three. And another ball on the other side. What a break this is. Uh, well, uh, Jason, one? Jason Shaw just looked as giving an appreciation. You know, <laughs> well done, well played. What a great shot. Yeah, I think he gave him a look and said, can I get a break lesson after this? <laughs> it's not funny because it's so frustrating when you're not making balls on the break. No, that Very was, that was a smart shot. The way he used the angles mm -hmm. and the, all his three cushion experience coming into play here. We'll hit two more of two more of those rails right now and get right on that seven ball. Extension, please. Big shot right here. Jason has closed the gap. If he, this, if he doesn't get position here and get out from here, he can close the gap a lot more. Look how nice he uh, hit this. How sad did he stroke that? I thought it might go two rails, but it was it, he couldn't. He'd have to come really close to the corner pocket to get on the seven good. So he used the draw. Yeah, that break again mm -hmm. caused some damage. Or did he make three balls that time? Yes. It's hard to play against, especially when you play position like this young guy does. Nice angle to go from the nine to the ten, coming across the table. Showing no nerves whatsoever, is he? No. He's playing a huge name here. And he's not even thinking about it, well, playing he, the balls. He is thinking about it, Jason. I mean... <laughs> He is thinking about it, Mark. He's thinking, I'm a big name too. You just haven't heard it. Yeah, nicely said. Eight, six. One closer now. It's Jason's break. It's going to be interesting to see where Jason breaks from here. Sitting in his chair. I wonder what he's thinking. Am I going to break from the side again? Because I made a ball there last time. Or am I going to go back to the middle mm -hmm. and try and make more than one. The chat just told me that on the last break, Tevis made four balls on the break. Four balls. Thanks for that, guys. You're thousands of miles away and you can see better than us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Still have our final to come. Wojtek Shevchik is waiting in the mm -hmm. wings. He's waiting to play. He's probably hitting ball somewhere now. Keep him warm. Ready to play one of these two guys. Which one's it going to be, though? Well, we are going to know pretty soon. Shaw breaking. Gone back to the middle again. Look, Left gone hander. back to exactly the same place. See, he's getting and he's getting the two balls. Oh, he was almost made in the eight in the side, and it got kicked by the four ball. <laughs> he's break. He's trying to imitate Devis's break. The two balls behind the one ball are going above the side pocket. He's hitting them too hard. I don't think he's hitting them hard enough. Not hitting them hard enough. Yeah. Well, he can't work it out. But he needs to, and he needs to quick. He's guaranteed, well, he's not guaranteed one more break, is he? Because if Tevez runs this out, he'll be breaking on the hill. So there's no guarantee. Playing safe all the way. I think that was a very smart play due to the fact that he really couldn't hold shape on the two ball if he cut it in. good discipline to do that. Yeah, this still isn't over. Nice controlled jump, but no reward for it. Yeah, the the one ball has nowhere to go unless he cuts it over to the, the side. 
Goes past the 10. Does it go? Okay. Corner pocket. It's a long. He's coming around to look. What's he looking at? Pocket by the 10. Yeah. And he says, if I happen to glance the 10 going in. And he can draw. He can draw across twice here. May have changed his mind. Just coming around once more to have a look at that angle. It's one of them funny ones, George. Yeah, this is. doesn't come up that often, does it, this no. angle? It's a, it's a straight draw of the side rail and come across for the two in the right-hand corner. Just like this. What a look shot that this. is. Absolutely look brilliant this. shot. Well, he's matching Jason Shaw's shot ball making. making. Yep, yeah, shot making. And he's got the better break. And that's why you're seeing the score on your screens of 8-6. This is to get on the hill for Tevis. Everything's open. Oh, he's come a little bit straight on this. He have to maybe just draw back and leave himself a slightly longer five. Just draw past the seven, George. I'm not sure if that six goes in the side. Is it too close to it? There's your reflections again. Easy. Don't get yeah, over the pen. Just pinch the pocket just that little bit. So he's looking at it to see if he can make them. That's tight. It's real tight in the side pocket. So does he stun the ball and leave it on the rail, directly on the rail? That's what I would try. Oh, no, he's coming back. Wow, what he a can make shot it. that is. He can make it in the side. He apparently. can make it in the corner as well, but he's going for the side, oh, yes. Okay. He's looking at the he's side. The side, yeah. Now, we saw, we saw one of the players take this shot once before, and... He didn't make it in the no, side. Came I out. Remember, remember that? Yeah, yeah. Caught the jaw. Oh, this is nice. This is nice angle. Nice yeah. camera angle. Absolutely a nice camera angle. Just a little roll forward. Just roll it in. Oh, he's going to go around and get good shape. <laughs> yeah, he just knows his way around. I yes. think he's got inbuilt sat nav in his head. He knows his rails. Oh, look at this. This to get on the hill. One wow. break away from getting into the finals to face Wojek Shevchek. You must say this guy has played amazing. And look at that. Just such ease. He's smooth. He's so smooth. So smooth. Beautiful. Do you yeah. know he reminds me a little bit of Fedor Gorst even? Yes. I agree. And it goes. And now... Jason Short staring.
And we are back, and what a treat we've been we've been having here watching these two gentlemen battle it out. We've been wa watching one break the balls with ease. He made four balls on the break on his last break. Let's see what he does here. If he breaks and runs out here, he moves into the final to meet Wojciech Shevchek. Here comes the five. Uh, no shot. Well, he's got a safety on. He's got a one decent yeah. safety. He yeah. can play here. Yep, yeah, you're right. He can thin the one on the right side and find cover. I wonder if he can tuck him up against the four. Oh, Jason looking tired. Well, he's also looking concerned. Yeah. A good safety here because this rack is spread out really nice. The biggest shot he'll need if he gets ball in hand is the 6 9 combo. If he tucks him up against this four ball, Jason's in a lot of trouble. Or the nine. Not, or the nine. Wow, why would he go that way? I don't know. Strange well. shot. Maybe the first sign of nerves from the young Chris Tevez. You often say, George, the hardest racks to win is the first and the last. And it's, it's he so won true. the first. Can he win the last one? Well, he's going to have to win the last one because that's the one that's going to get him into the finals. And that's a great shot. Jason Shaw isn't giving up yet, though. Win this one. Same old story. 9-7, breaking. Make a ball. Run out. 9-8. All of a sudden, the pressure's on again. Mm -hmm. Well, the young Peruvian with a one-rail kick on this one ball. Do oh, he know, hit it. Do you know, one thing I've noticed, you'd, th you'd think his kicking would be great. I don't think his kicking's been ab that great. Not the one And I was. think it's because of the different, ra the different cloth. cushions, the different cloth. Absolutely not heated, reacting different. Also the size of the balls. Yeah, size of the balls as well, you're right. But he plays enough pool, as you can tell. Uh, <laughs> that's, uh, yeah, a guy that I was talking to, a Spaniard, just over there when mm -hmm. I went out of the room for a couple of minutes. He told me he's also won nine ball and ten ball. In Peru? In Peru. Yeah. Tournaments in Latin America. Well, we could be seeing the end. Well, he's come the wrong side. Unless oh, that, he's does it pass the nine? No, I think he can go to the... I think he, it's a tough shot to come off that rail. I think he's got enough angle to force it off the rail and come all the way over like this. Oh, no, it must go past the nine. Yeah, it must go past the nine. I thought he was going to have to force it really hard to come all the way over and play it in the right-hand corner. Well, yeah, it looks look, like he's he got goes. half a pocket. Yeah. And half oh, isn't yeah, all he needed. That's all he needed. Now, how do you play this? You go for the combo for the 6-9. He's too straight on here. Yeah, he's got to then, hasn't yeah. he? If he's straight, well, he's going forwards. He forced an angle. Yeah. What a beautiful shot. Yes, sir. But the way it's like a magic wand, that cue. Certainly working his magic with it. He needs a clearance here, and boy, is he in line to get it. Yeah. Jason will be sitting there thinking and realizing tonight I've been beaten by the better player. Yeah. Que cosa tan preciosa. Really has played a fantastic semi final. Jason already put in his cues. Back in the case. Oh. Oh, he he might have, come yeah, he's, he's okay. He's absolutely perfect. Looks up at the sky. And looks he's over smiling. Jason. Are these good? His heart <laughs> is beating. Are these good? Let's stand it up a little bit. And oh. this is to get into the final of the Predator World 10 Ball Championship. He'll be feeling so ball. great inside now, George. And he played fantastic. We'll be back with a final very soon. A huge roar from the crowd. So we'll see you very soon with a final.